surveillance video shows a stolen car speeding on a residential street in Floral Park, then crashing into a home where Satie Birmingham and her son were sleeping inside. I had the big bang, and I woke up and I saw everything crashed in. The, the dresser fell on the bed. I was on the bed. She was just six feet away. At first, Birmingham thought the car was something else, a bomb. Okay, I actually thought that we were at war. I thought it was Iran or China. <laughs> Once mother and son got out of the house on Arthur Avenue, that's when they realized what happened. Police say it all started around 8 Tuesday morning here on Hill Avenue in Elmont. The owner of the car left it running to warm it up, then went to grab coffee. That's when the car was taken. Police say this man jumped in and went on a joyride. He lost control and he hit that curb, went airborne. It hit the couch my mom sits in to watch TV. And that, you know, thank God she wasn't there. The owner was able to track the car through GPS and followed it for a few blocks. At one point, the owner's daughter flagged down a police officer. We're looking for a Veloster that was stolen. Can you tell it, like, you know, are you busy? And he's like, what kind of car? I'm like, it's a Veloster. And he's like, yeah, it's inside the house. After the crash, the thief behind the wheel was seen running away, leaving behind a disaster, a totaled car, and a home that's now unstable and boarded up. I feel terrible, but I feel uh, okay because uh, everybody over here in the house is fine. And thanks God. These things are replaceable, but we're not replaceable. So, you know, we thank, you know, Jesus Christ that we're all safe and sound. Yeah. And, you know, hopefully they find the guy and hopefully he's okay too. Well, that is the good news out here. No one was hurt, but that homeowner and her son, they will have to stay with family tonight. The house has been boarded up and they can't go back inside. In the meantime, police are still looking for the person responsible. They believe that person is a teenager.